show. Today I wanted to talk about the lottery. As most of you know, the things in our world are fixed, are rigged. And things like the lottery are just another psychological operation. For people to think they can get rich quick, to give them a little bit of hope in their lives. Now I'm talking about the major lotteries. I'm not talking about scratch-off tickets where you can win $50, $20, $100, even sometimes $1,000. Those are in place to give people the illusion that the big lotteries, the mega millions, are actually real. So people think, oh, I've won the scratch-off before. I can win the big one if I pick the right numbers. It's all an illusion. Remember, they're not allowing anyone, anyone, to become an instant millionaire or billionaire in this world. They control the wealth. They control the resources. They control everything. Just imagine if someone like myself had won the lottery and won $600 million. Don't you think they'd be a little afraid that maybe an uprising actually could start or would start? They would never allow that to happen. They won't let people get rich. Even people who come up with great ideas, they'll steal the idea or they'll make you sell them the idea or become a part of the brotherhood. Otherwise, they could just off you and take it. So I wanted to talk about the lottery. And of course, it starts with the logo, right? How many times do we see these logos that just tell us in plain sight what we're looking at? Well, look at the logo for the national lottery. You have to be blind not to see it. You can clearly see the 666. You see the six, and then you see the two sixes, which are supposed to be eyes. And how many times do we see this stuff? How many times do we see these logos that constantly show us who's in control, who these people work for, the 666, or the Ouroboros, or the Pyramid, Right? The constant signs, the constant symbols. You can see it right there. Right in plain sight for everyone to see who has eyes to see. You can't hide the fact that that's a 666. And of course we know that even in the Illuminati card game, the state lotteries is one of the cards inside the game. Because these lotteries give people a fake illusion of hope in their lives. Just something else for them to take and give you and then step on. Because remember, they constantly want you to think you can become this. You can become that. Right? You can do anything you want. You could be a millionaire. You could be an athlete. You could be an actor. You could be a famous musician. You could be a model. America's Next Top Model. It's all of this stuff they want you to waste your time trying to achieve and think you can get. And like I said, they give you the illusion with the lottery that there's a chance that you can win the lottery. Because you've won a small raffle before in your town, right? Oh, you won the raffle at the local fair. Oh, you won a scratch-off ticket. It made 50 bucks. So you could do it. You can go for the big one if you pick the right numbers. Yet how many people actually know somebody who has won the Mega Millions or won millions of dollars in the lottery? Know the person personally. And I'm not saying some of the times... That money isn't handed out, because if it is, it's usually handed out or given to somebody who's a high-ranking Freemason or who has connections as a reward. The lottery itself was set up pretty much for fundraising. George Washington would sponsor public, public lotteries. And with that money, they would build roads, you know, the extra money or the money that was taken out of the lottery. They build roads, schools, things like that. We know George Washington was a Freemason. Another person who was involved in lotteries to raise money, to raise funds, was Thomas Jefferson, who issued his own private lottery to help pay off his personal debts. Ben Franklin sponsored his own lottery to buy cannons for the Continental Army. Wink, wink, supposedly. For those of you that don't know Ben Franklin, how many bodies they found buried underneath his house when they excavated his house, bodies of children, right? And he went, people don't hear about that because they go, well, Ben Franklin was just doing experiments on these bodies. Oh, was he? And then what? When he was done experimenting on the bodies, he buried them in the crawl space under his house, like John Wayne Gacy? I don't think so. They all work alike. It's all an intricate network. 
And the lottery is just one of those massive, massive scams that's out there that keeps people constantly looking for some type of hope in this world. Instead of picking up their Bible, instead of having hope and faith in Jesus Christ, people have faith in all of these things that they make people crave, right? Crave money, crave power, crave success. They want you to crave what they crave. And that's pretty much a world that they've created now where you look around and people are just constantly striving for stuff that they can't achieve. It's the old dangle the carrot in front of the, you know, the horse's face. He can never get it. Or put the cheese in front of the mouse that he can never get. Right? The mouse inside the wheel just constantly running in an endless circle to get nowhere. And that's what the lottery really is. The illusion of this stuff. But remember, they always want to give you a taste, right? You can get a taste. You can win a scratch off. All that stuff. Because it creates a bigger illusion in your head. But like I said, nobody's met any of these people. We see clearly in the Illuminati card game showing us. Look at the people in the picture. Play instant riches, right? Everybody's just grabbing the, you know, the scratch tickets, the lotto tickets. Just continuing to chase after this illusion. And like I said, the logo itself speaks volumes, It speaks volumes. It's all in a logo. These companies, people think that they just come up with a logo. They pull it out of thin air. They're like, hey, you know, we're going to have somebody come in and they're going to put up some logo ideas and we're going to pick the one. Yet all of them seem to have a 666, whether it's Disney, whether it's Google Chrome. You know, you name the gas station company, Starbucks. All of these logos are filled with satanic imagery. Images which all go back and direct a link directly to the occult. So I just want people out there to know that, to think that way. Because they want you to constantly waste your money. The money that you put into the lotto goes right back to them. And then they tell us that we're in so much debt. Oh, our country is in so much debt. We're all in so much debt. Debt, debt, debt. Debt, 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 right? Because debt beats you down. Meanwhile, all this money that they collect just goes right back in their pocket, just like everything else. It goes right back to the top, right? We work all these hours. People work 9 to 5, 9 to 7 every day just so they can come home and pay their rent and pay their property tax. They're left with, what, a couple thousand dollars if they're lucky at the end of the year in savings. And all the money that they work and slave for goes right back to the people at the top. And what they do is they just waste your life away, 40, 50 years of waste distraction, keeping you away from truth, keeping you away, in a sense, from God, too. A lot of people are too busy to seek God, to read the Bible. A lot of people are too depressed to even want to do anything because they're constantly enslaved. And then it also gives people no time to do what? To search for answers, to do the stuff that is going on out there, that people are researching and finding out about the lies and the deceit of this world. And we've seen so many times over these huge power balls, right? These huge, huge power balls, and nobody hits them. Nobody that you know. You see these random people go up. They all look the same cookie-cutter white guy, older, holding the check. But when you look back at the origins of the lottery, you need to look no further. It was started for fundraising. Now what is it used for? Oh, people to get rich quick, right? Nobody asks about what happens to the money that's taken out. Can we get it? Can anybody account for the money? You know, if if somebody made six hundred fifty million dollars, can anyone account for the other three hundred and twenty-five million that goes into taxes and where where it gets spread out and all that stuff? No, because nobody cares. Nobody asks any questions about that stuff. Nobody says, "Hey, who's this winner?" You know, you get a little fake story. They'll put the Powerball winner on Good Morning America. Oh, you know, I walked into the store. I was. Wasn't going to do it. I was going to go home and see my wife. And I said, you know, maybe I'll stop in and put my wife's favorite numbers on the ticket. And what do you know? We won. And people go, oh, man, you know, all those times I've thought about pulling over and getting a ticket, a Powerball ticket. I never did. I drove by. You know, I'm going to do it from now on. Because they try to relate to people. Oh, yeah, I've done that before. I put my wife's favorite numbers or my kids' birthdays down. It's going to hit one of these times. 
And then all you got to do is just look right at the logo, right in front of your face. Because it's always right there. The National Lottery. Six, six, six. Need I say more? Fingers crossed, folks. I mean, give me an absolute break. Remember, this is always an illusion. An illusion of things that you think you can obtain, you think you can achieve. The illusion of a republic. The illusion of freedom when we're really being monitored and listened to and watched around the clock. These are all illusions. Illusions of grandeur. You're going to be the next big thing. Get on The Voice. Get on American Idol. You could be the next star. Push yourself harder. You could be the next NFL quarterback or Major League Baseball player. Not true. It's just not. It's a controlled system. And people don't realize how many of them there really are. Whether they're low-ranking Masons or people who have gone through it or high-ranking Masons or people who have ascended above that whose family members are the famous musicians, whose children are the famous musicians. It doesn't matter how much talent you have or how great you are. It doesn't mean that there's not sometimes people that get through on their own, because that can happen, but they'll control and make sure you don't get far, as far as you want or as far as you think you can get without joining in. The illusion of freedom, and just like the illusion that you could be the next millionaire, just ask, wait, People that none of us have ever met or come across in our lives who have done it. The cookie cutter interview, the people who get interviewed on Good Morning America that you never hear from or see from again. Don't fall for the deceptions. Don't waste your time or your money on these things that you have no control over. Things don't happen at random with these people. They're not randomly going to let somebody become a millionaire. You and me, we're not randomly hitting a $600 million scratch off. Okay, every number and every ticket that gets bought, they have that processed in a system so they know that the ticket's out there, right? Why do you think you get these, oh, the Powerball has reached $700 million. Oh, it's reached a billion. Because every single number is accounted for in every ticket, and they just run it through software, right? And they'll say, okay, make sure the numbers come, you know, whatever they do to have the numbers come out, obviously the balls pop up or whatever they do, which is, can easily be rigged, obviously. It's not like, you know, they're going through each ball inside the thing and showing you that it comes out at random. It's all controlled, you know, with the vacuum sucking the balls out of the thing. But they know which numbers are there. So they go, okay, we'll make it these numbers because nobody has this ticket. And then we'll continue building it up and building it up. And the suckers will keep buying the tickets and wasting the little money that they have left over from their paycheck to buy the tickets with hopes that they can live like Jay-Z or live like LeBron James. Or live like Katy Perry and be rich. And then they do it again, and they do it again, and they do it again. And the media just pumps it up. Oh, you hear about the Powerball? Oh, you hear about the Powerball? At least once or twice a year, you'll hear about it. And they'll get everybody out there, all the suckers that go buy the tickets, wasting the money that they, the little money they have, giving them this little carrot on a string of hope that their lives can change and they don't have to go back into the matrix. But what ends up happening? Somebody wins, nobody knows, and then they go away. And it's not a coincidence, folks. Nothing in this world happens at random when it comes to lots and lots of money like this. Randomly, somebody's not just going to fall upon it. And like I said, you can see the card in the Illuminati card game. You can see what a distraction is, and the 666 is right in the logo. I thank you guys for listening to today's show. Hope I didn't dash anybody's hopes. Doesn't mean you can't make money inside of this system, but obviously your goal in life should not be money. We all need money to live. We all need money to get by. But becoming a millionaire instantly overnight is just not in the cards for any of us. And it shouldn't be something that we strive for or want. They just try to make us think that it'll bring happiness to our lives. It'll bring happiness to your life. You don't have to worry. Yeah, well, it would be nice not to have all these bills that we all have. But really, in reality, we shouldn't have all these bills that we have and things that we owe money to. It's because we've allowed them to control all this. But we could always take that control away. 
That's really the key. I thank you again for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.